It's your boy Chris Ron Paul. I am your favorite fighting fighter, favorite fighting fighter, thugging it everywhere. Don't believe me? Ask that bitch nigga about me. You dig? All right, six nine about to get people fucked up, killed, robbed, all that good shit. Now, first of all, if you forgot, my homies from sixties ran up on famous decks looking for six nine in Cali. They they got that he was at a location. He they pulled up on there. He wasn't there. They seen this funny looking nigga, so they got this chain. Wrong nigga being at the wrong place at the wrong time. Now, this Cuban uh, doll girl, I guess I don't really know much about her because I don't, I'm not really entwined with all that side of entertainment. I'm still learning about these these entertainment thoughts and shit, but I guess she's the fuck with uh, Chief Keith Cousin. And uh, she got caught on a live chat with 6 9 where, of course, yeah, if you're not fucking with a bitch and she's trying to build a career, expect her to, to flock one of these these. Clown goofy niggas try to get some internet fame and shit. It's just part of the game. It's what these bitches do. I had a couple bitches in the past try to get at me thinking they was going to get a little bit of fame. Mm, didn't quite work out for them. Hmm. But uh, I guess he, he caught the bitch, beat the bitch up bad, and everybody's like, hey, yo, dude, you tripping. But then I guess he gets on a uh, FaceTime conversation with 6 9 They exchange some words, and this nigga's looking pretty crazy. And, um... I guess he, he he blurts out, he kills people, yada, yada, yada. And one thing you have to learn about these Chirac niggas, after they have their little internet Twitter beef, usually a body is normally found somewhere. Like, these niggas really taking it to the next level. For, so for 6 9 to act like he don't give a fuck or, or act as if these niggas are not serious or with the shits, my nigga, you think you probably met your match here. Like, these niggas will dedicate their every second of their day of their life to coming after you. Like, these, this, this is what they live for. They thrive off of this. This is what gives them the, the, the name that they have for being savages, my niggas. So, like, <sighs> I feel sorry for 6 9 Then again, I don't because you brought this upon yourself, young man. Hmm. But, like, for you to even engage and, and throw more gasoline in the fire talking about you wish the girl the best after you know he got the girl got beat up for talking to you like that's just wrong my nigga wrong like because you don't give a fuck about anybody you're just in it for yourself you're trying to build as much of a name while you still have this this little thing going on with yourself and for you to say that you're the reason why new york is hot again no, you're the reason why New York is most talked about again. I give you that much credit, but you're not the reason why the city's popping again because you're what we always talk so bad about, these these East Coast niggas that try to sound like they're from the South or just these weird, weird antic type niggas. You're what we despise. Like You're what we used to always talk bad about, and you feel like you're the king of the city? My nigga... Get your life together before somebody really comes and, and take your life, my nigga. Like, I wonder how little Reese feel about this. And and it's funny. I find this Billy OK nigga, whatever this nigga name is, he basically cops a plead to Chicago niggas and Chief Keith in the first 60 seconds of saying fuck Tato. Like, my nigga, what? You sound like a bitch nigga, my nigga. Like, come on, cuz. Like, shout out to my real Billy gang niggas, my nigga. Free my homie M5. Like, swoo woo. Shit. Busting at the cops, nigga. Real Billy nigga shit. Um, but yeah, this 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 nigga's out of control, cuz. Like, and bitches, I know y'all wanna stand next to these celebrities and this and that, but if you know you're dealing with a nigga that has no sense, don't put your, your life at risk for some stupid shit like that. Academics is the funniest nigga ever. He wants to let it be known in advance. If something was to take place, he do not want to be no accessory to any crime. He feels like he's the reason why the video got put out there. Well, yeah, you're trying to get your little view count off. You want to get the story out and popping before somebody else gets it. And now look what happened. Somebody got assaulted and somebody may die because of you, academics. But yeah, support real niggas. Let the other bullshit fade. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. Follow me on Instagram, Revolutionary Cause. Like the Facebook fan page, The Revolutionary Cause Show. Why the fuck... 40 Glock is making fun of niggas. Take them I kill people for fun. What are you, a, a, a mixture of a nigga from Belly and, and Scarface nigga? <laughs> Crazy. Till next time, I'm about to go get right. Smart one for your boy. Tribbles.